Now that we've done all the knitting, we can stop to measure our beanie. The brim of the beanie is about two and a half inches from the bottom to the top of the brim. And my whole beanie is right at nine inches. To get the beanie off the needles, we need to cut the string and give ourselves a little bit of a tail so we can run it all the way around the top of the beanie. To begin, start by threading your tapestry needle. Give yourself a little bit of a tail. Push the loops back off of the right needle and remove your stitch marker. Now go under the first loop with your tapestry needle, pull the string all the way through and push that loop off of your left needle. Again, we're going to go under the loop, pull the string all the way through and then push that loop off of your left needle. Continue to go under every loop and push the loop off the left needle as you work around your beanie. If you have to, push the loops from the right side over to your left side so it makes it easier to get them off and just continue to pull every loop off the needle. After all the loops are off your needle, set the needles to the side. We're gonna wrap this yarn under this one loop one more time, and then hold your beanie and just slightly pull on the tail string. Move your hat around a little bit so you can pull the string a little bit tighter. Now we're going to go under the loops of the last row and we're just going to run our needle all the way around the top until we get back to where we started. After you've made it back around to where you started sewing in your tail, pull on the string to tighten up the top of the beanie and then we're going to take the needle and run it through one of the stitches to the inside of the beanie. Now flip your beanie inside out so we can begin sewing in the tails. Starting with the bottom brim tail, re-thread your tapestry needle. We're gonna go under this first loop closest to where our tail starts and go diagonal 
to the next loop right next to it. We're going to work up this ridge line. Here's one loop and here's two. We're just going to work under these two loops first and pull our string. Now we're going to go across from that stitch and go under the next one right here and we're going to do like a wave and go under the next row, go up and go under the next row until we get to the body of the beanie. So go up a row and go under the two stitches, go up a row and go under the two stitches. Continue until you get to the body of the beanie. At the body, go under these loops, pull through. Now we can see that everything blends well on the outside of the beanie. This is the part that gets a little tricky to explain, but with the knit stitch, each row has an umbrella and a U in the back of the beanie. So we're going to run our needle under and over. So under this one and this top loop right here, we're going to go over it and go under the next loop. The one we skipped would be our umbrella. Next, we're going to go under and follow and go in this loop. That would be our U. We're going to make another umbrella, so go up and over and down through this one. Now we're going to do one more U, which is right here, go under. Now we're going to work back along that, so we're going to nail an umbrella and go under. Now we're going to do another U, so find it and go under this one. Continue to do this until you get back to where you started. One more. And then the last one's right here, which is a U. I'm going to do one more umbrella just to be safe. Now we're going to just run our needle over to the side where the ridge is to lock it in place. And then we can cut the string and be done with the brim. Now working with the top string, re-thread your tapestry needle. We're going to work under just a few stitches until we get to an easy to manage row so we can do the umbrellas and the U's again. So just work your way down the beanie, just a few rows. Now we're going to work our U's and our umbrellas. So just follow the stitches and go over and under this one, which is an umbrella. Go under and over this one, which would be a U. Now we're going to go up and turn back around and go under. And then we're going to keep working until we get back to where we started. Just a couple of more stitches.
After you're done, cut your string, flip your beanie inside out, and you're all done.